Greetings. Welcome to the Administration for Community Living's virtual conference booth. Uh, we are glad you are participating in this conference. My name is Kathy Greenlee. I am the Assistant Secretary for Aging, as well as the Administrator of the Administration for Community Living. And this is the first time I have participated in a virtual conference, so we're doing this together. I want to talk about the two titles that I have, and in doing so, describe new opportunities that we have to work even more closely together as we serve seniors and people with disabilities. So my two titles. In April of this year, Secretary of Health and Human Services Kathleen Sebelius announced a new organization at HHS, the Administration for Community Living. This organization brings together three entities that already existed at HHS and puts us together so that we can work more effectively to advocate for seniors, people with disabilities, and their families. The three entities are the Administration on Aging, the Office on Disability from the Office of the, of the Secretary of HHS, as well as the Administration for Developmental Disabilities. In essence, we built a new organization that will co-locate all three of the organizations that already existed. Under the umbrella of the Administration for Community Living, the Administration on Aging will continue to exist and provide strong programming, such as the Older Americans Act, to seniors, their family caregivers, as well as people with disabilities. The Office on Disability also is a part of this new organization. My colleague and friend, Henry Claypool, is the director of the Office on Disability and has served as the Secretary's principal advisor on disability policy. By joining together with Henry and his staff, we can advocate more effectively for comprehensive policies on behalf of people with disabilities uh, throughout the whole Department of Health and Human Services. The third entity, the Administration for Developmental Disabilities, moves from one agency to our new agency. ADD has been located at the Administration for Children and Families, but they wanted to join us as we build a new organization for aging and disability services. In the process of reorganization, ADD changed their name and added an I to the name to reflect the work that's being done all across the country uh, with families and people who have developmental and intellectual disabilities. So their new name is the Administration for Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities. The reason we formed this new organization is because we feel that we are stronger together. My two titles reflect my dual commitments in my roles. I continue to be the Assistant Secretary for Aging, and I'm very proud to serve in this role. I have now finished three years as one of the nation's principal advocates on behalf of older adults, and must continue in this role very willingly uh, in this new organization. As Administrator of the new Administration for Community Living, I also work in partnership with our colleagues from the fields of disability to lift up their issues and their needs uh, so we advocate for you know, better lives for all people, including children with, devel with developmental disabilities. I want to talk about what this might mean for you, and in specific reference the three senior core programs as an example. You know, in the Aging Services Network, your three programs are critical partners on the ground. The Senior Companion Program, the Retired Senior Volunteer Program, and Foster Grandparents. These are all critical services to seniors, and our partnerships between the Administration on Aging and the Senior Corps programs are as strong as ever. But we are looking for new opportunities, and one of those opportunities is actually best reflected in your Foster Grandparents program. Your program of Foster Grandparents partners volunteers who are older with children and young adults who have developmental disabilities, and in this way, you are already leading the way in providing a bridge between the worlds of aging and disability. In the new organization, we will seek to achieve balance, finding the things we have in common, transportation, housing, workforce, supported employment or financial security, as well as the critical role of families in many people's lives. And in finding this balance and this commonality, we must also stay true to the individuals that we serve. People with disabilities and seniors are different. They have different needs, and we need to reflect that difference as we continue to work with the Administration for Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities and the Administration on Aging. So we are excited about our opportunities. We're excited to continue to work with you, and we're willing to learn. If you have ideas that you learn through this conference or in other ways as you do your work where we can work together more effectively across the lifespan with all people with disabilities of all age, 
then let us know. Stay involved because we are very much engaged and excited and have a common purpose. The name Administration for Community Living is aspirational. It's what all people want and it's something you help us provide. The ability for people to stay in their communities for their lifetimes, which is very, very important. If you want more information about the Administration for Community Living or want to provide us feedback, let me give you two resources. First is our website, www.hhs.gov backslash ACL. Or you can contact one of our ACL staff. Her name is Marla Bush. Her uh, email address is marla.bush, B-U-S-H, at acl.gov. I hope you have a great conference and continue to be engaged in your communities and have a very successful uh, opportunity as you work virtually uh, to support people in their communities. Thank you.